What up, y'all? This is what we're gonna be making today. It's a huge platter. And it's not totally showing up very well, but it's basically a bunch of black gumpy stuff in with blood. And it really does look like dark and light blood, which kind of reminds me of like when blood starts to clot and whatnot. And then there's a brain with the wounds crawling out. It is... So I kind of, you know, just stuck them in wherever. And I shit you not, this does feel like a real brain. Like, I can't get over how much it really does feel. <laughs> um, in my ana one of my anatomy classes in college, we had to dissect a sheep brain. And I shit you not, this really is what this feels like. Just, like, touching it and whatnot reminds me so much of it. And it's really firm. You know. Mm -mm -mm. So this is a Fago Jello dessert. And you could totally make this sugar free if you wanted. So that's up to you. I have the knife and we're going to cut it open and see what it looks like inside. Merry Christmas. Nah, I'm just fucking playing. Happy Halloween. Every store I go into, it seems like there's already Christmas decorations. And it's like, uh-uh. We ain't not skipping Halloween. We're not skipping it on this channel. I wanted to do a special video just for this channel, just for Halloween. Kind of get, like, the mood out there, you know? Like, let's not skip Halloween Thanksgiving, okay? One holiday at a time. So, let's get right on into it. And the things that we're going to need for this is I found this big ass tray. Yes, it's a big ass tray. It's orange. From the dollar store. And then for the brain, I used this brain mold, which I got at Walmart, but I did see it at the dollar store too. We got our cherry jello, and I actually did find black jello. And it's a Star Wars because it was come just came out, so you might want to get on that because I don't know how long they're gonna be selling this shit also found it at Walmart and then I got gummy worms this brand is fucking amazing now listen don't get the sour ones no matter how tempting it is don't get the ones with the powder on it you need the plain jelly ones trust me because if you get the ones with the powder on it it turns like soggy and it's not good and then for Fago yes I said Fago we got blue raspberry and black cherry and the reason for that obviously the black cherry for the cherry but the black jello is galactic berry so let's get right on into it other than that the only thing you need is measuring cups and I highly recommend at least having one glass one because you are going to be boiling water and look we all know plastics bad for us so the, on the box of directions state to use a half a cup of boiling water and a half a cup of cold water. That's for jello. We're making jigglers, so you're gonna need to cut that recipe in half. So three cups just became one and a half. That being said, we're not making it the traditional way. We're making it with Fago. So you need to cut that bitch in half again. So that one and a half, we're gonna be doing a half. So I'm gonna get my glass measuring cup and I'm filling this bitch up with a uh, half cup water. While the half cup is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and put a cup of Fago in my extra container. This is important because you need it time to uh, defizz. I don't know what the word is for that, but I call it defizzing. It needs time to defizz, otherwise you're gonna have like a film on top of your jello and it's not gonna taste good. So I went ahead and put the boiling the water, the plain water into the microwave. And basically you're gonna wanna wait till it's bubbling, that means it's boiling. So that's what I'm doing now. Alrighty, so there it is. I got the powder. There 
And you're gonna want to stir this until it's completely dissolved. Okay, I got the separate bowl here, so I'm very carefully going to be pouring the pop or the fago into the bowl. I don't want it to fizz, so that's why I'm want to go slow. Now here's a tricky spot, it's going to be pouring this in without it fizzing. It's definitely fizzing, so just go slow, take your time. And I'm just going to let that kind of settle until I see the fizzing that has gone down and then I can kind of stir it a little bit. So I'm going to let that cool off and I'm going to go ahead and wash these out really quick before they get too um, dried on. This one, the cherry is actually Jell-O brand and they actually make it a little bit easier with the measurements. So two cups of boiling water, two cups of cold water. So what I'm going to do is, remember I said to cut it in half, so we're going to do one cup of boiling water, one cup of Fago. That's the ratio. It's very important when doing any kind of jiggler mold, which is what I'm making, you use some kind of cooking spray so that it doesn't stick. And just as important as that is, it's important to wipe off the excess, but we don't want to wipe it away. So we're more so going to dab and make sure that that cooking spray got on every surface, every inch. Keeping in mind you don't want those bubbles. Can you see them at the very top there? You don't want bubbles because that will t stick onto your jello and then you can taste it and it doesn't taste good. So you want to try to get those off without taking um, too much off of it. Okay. So see how a lot of it came out. Alrighty. see the fizzing for this one has went down drastically I'm just going to wait a little bit longer until I see a little bit more go away and then I'm going to stick this in the fridge and leave it overnight the fizzing for the brain mold is quite thick and this is not going to go down because it's really frothy so I'm going to take the cup here and kind of scoop out just the foam part and so I can get most of it out I went ahead and made one little box of the strawberry banana. It doesn't matter what flavor so much. It is just a light colored red because the other red that we used for the brain was like this deep dark cherry. So I made just one. That would be half a cup of water, half a cup of pop. And I didn't have any cream soda which you totally could use. So I'm using the Sprite because you want something clear you want the color to stay as light as possible. So that's why I use Sprite, because I didn't have any cream soda or anything.
plain. Give it a little spank. Make it a little bit more tender. So I don't really know how to cut this. I guess I'm just going to cut it down the middle. Oh, gnarly. And then we'll cut it again this way. It's really firm. <laughs> and I made sure to put like worms inside of it so when people cut into it like there would be worms in there <laughs> okie dokie um <laughs> okay so I guess I'm just gonna scoop it out And then this you can totally like kind of just chop up like this and make it kind of goopy and loose and that just kind of goes like that. Got some brains in here, y'all. <laughs> it just slops around. You can definitely tell like the light in the darker areas and the worm just looks so gross. But just so I can kind of show you. I didn't do the brain as thick as the mold could have went. But that's what it looks like. And like I said, it really does feel like a brain. So it's definitely accurate. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get some more here. But you see, you really can't cut through it because it's so thick with the spoon. You basically have to use a knife. Which just makes it that much better. Because it makes your um, company feel like they really are cutting into a nice brain. Welcome to my dungeon. And yes, I said dungeon. And we're going to do a little taste test. I'm going to try to taste what I do, three different flavors, so let's start with the brain because that was it's really good. Especially with that black cherry fago. That tastes really good. The one that I had to use Sprite on, it tastes okay. Not as good with the Fago though. Fago always tastes better in jiggler molds. And then this one was the um, blue fago and the black jello. I didn't get very much of that. I'm going to try to get some more out of the plate here. Okay. Mmm. It's really good. I don't know what I like better, the black cherry or the blue raspberry. Mm, both are good though. Hey Kenny, yeah. get your butt in here. Yeah, Welcome to it. my dungeon. Yeah, you want to Cha. taste some brains? Yeah, yo, yeah. yummy, 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 delicious. So have you been wondering where the dog went? That's cute. That's a joke. Oh. <laughs> All that matters is that you got it eventually. Is it good? It's good. I like that. Yeah? I feel like this would be plenty to feed like a whole party too. See there's a dog here and there. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll eat it all. <laughs> I was going to say that I think you need to zoom out, but I'm just that tall. Yeah, you are. <laughs> what do you like better, do you think? Like, what's your favorite? It's all good. It's like fruity. Mm. 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 Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Uh, 
of it. Mm. You want some more? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Do you want some brains? Yep. If I ate your brains, would I have your attitude? Let's go get some. Mm. <laughs> you can't take the whole. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Ale? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh it's my. on the camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Better watch out.